Hey guys, so today I'm talking about two great used cameras, the Canon 60 and the Canon 5D Mark II. And both of these are really great ways to get into shooting full frame on a budget. And I have full reviews of both of these cameras on the channel, but if you're looking at them, they actually have a lot of similarities, but there are some differences. So if you're trying to get into full frame on a budget today, I'm going to talk about the differences between the two, some of the pros and cons between the two, and maybe which one might be right for you. All right, so first kind of a comparison between the specs of each of these two cameras. And the first thing is the sensors. The 60 has a 20.2 megapixel sensor where the 5D Mark II has a 21.1 megapixel sensor. And the difference is really pretty negligible. Obviously the 5D Mark II has 0.9 megapixels more, but that's really only about a 4% increase in resolution. So because both of these cameras are DSLRs, you're not looking directly at the image off of the sensor through your viewfinder when you're shooting like you would on a mirrorless camera, but you're looking at the image reflected through a mirror. And with these two cameras, the 6D has 97% coverage through the viewfinder. The 5D Mark II has 98% coverage through the viewfinder. Again, negligible difference. What that really means is that with both cameras, what you see through the viewfinder is going to be just a little bit less than what you actually end up with when you take the picture. So while we're talking about the viewfinder, let's talk about autofocus through the viewfinder. And the 6D has 11 autofocus points with one cross type point in the center, whereas the 5D Mark II has nine autofocus points. And the 6D looks like a winner here because it has a couple more autofocus points. And I will say the cross type autofocus point in the center of the 6D is really, really good, really accurate even in low light situations it focuses really well but the other autofocus points in the 60 are much less accurate and don't work as well so a lot of times with the 60 you're actually going to end up needing to use the center autofocus point and then focus recompose or something like that the 5d mark ii all nine of the autofocus points actually work really well so i would actually give the advantage here in autofocusing to the 5d mark ii though to be fair with both of them they don't have a lot of autofocus points points so you are going to probably have to use something like focus recompose with both of these cameras or maybe manual focus depending on what and how you're shooting. Also with autofocus, they both do technically have autofocus in live view mode on the back screen of the cameras, but both of them use a really old, really outdated, really slow contrast based autofocus system in that situation and realistically both completely unusable. You're not going to be auto focusing off of the back screen with these cameras. But what you can use the screens on these cameras for is they both have exposure simulation. So if you're wanting to check and make sure your exposure is pretty close before you take the shot, you can use the screens for that and then go back and shoot through the viewfinder. When it comes to shooting photos in burst mode, the 60 can shoot 4.5 frames per second, whereas the 5D Mark II can shoot 3.9 frames per second. Now, obviously the 60 you can shoot a little faster, but realistically, they're both around four frames per second, and that is not very fast. Neither one of these are fast cameras, and neither one of these are going to work very well for shooting action. Another difference between the two cameras is that the maximum shutter speed on the 5D Mark II is one eight thousandth of a second, and that's pretty normal for prosumer grade cameras, whereas on the 60, the maximum shutter speed is one four thousandth of a second. Now, this is only a one stop difference here. And I mean, if you are shooting all the time in bright daylight, middle of the day at f1.2, that might make a difference sometimes. But even if you're trying to freeze super fast motion, one four thousandth of a second is going to do great with that. So it probably isn't going to be a deal breaker or really have much of an effect on anybody, but theoretically one eight thousandth of a second is going to give you more flexibility. For video, they both shoot 1080 at 24 and 30 frames per second, but neither one of them have continuous autofocus for video. In the 6D, as far as connectivity goes, you do have GPS and Wi-Fi. You do not have that in the 5D Mark II. And they both have one single card slot. In the 6D, that is one SD card. And in the 5D Mark II, that is one CF card. Now with CF, that is an older form of memory and less common, especially now. However, that's really not anything to worry about. It's not really a downside to this. It's 
not worse, it's just different. And CF cards now, they're still pretty easy to find and they're not super expensive or anything. So I don't think that's something to worry about. It's just different. All right, so when it comes to build quality and ergonomics, it's gonna be pretty short and sweet because they're pretty similar. The 6D is a little bit newer and it has a slightly more rounded grip, which might fit just slightly better in the hand. The 5D is a little bigger, a little chunkier. That does leave room for more buttons on the back. Both cameras feature the EF mount, which has a huge selection of lenses available to it. And overall, they're both really great, ergonomically just really nice to shoot with. Now photography is where both of these cameras really shine. They were both designed as photography cameras and both cameras have great colors, great image quality. They're both full frame. Now I will say the 6D has a definite advantage in low light and honestly, it's not all that far behind even modern cameras as far as low light performance goes. The 6D I've shot at 3200 ISO and even beyond and still felt happy with the images. With the 5D Mark II, once you start getting beyond ISO 800, you're really going to start to quickly see a diminishing image quality there. Both of these cameras actually have really great dynamic range with a caveat being that with the 5D Mark II, I'm talking about its dynamic range at low ISO values. When you get into the high ISO values, it's clearly going to be advantage to the 6D because the 5D2 just doesn't perform well at that point. Now again, with both of these cameras, you are going to be shooting through the optical viewfinder because autofocus on the back screen just is not really usable at all. And like I said earlier, the 6D does have more autofocus points, but only 11. However, that one center autofocus point is the only one that I ever really reliably trusted. And so that means you're going to be using Focus Recompose probably a lot more with the 6D than with the 5D Mark II. But again, to be fair, the 5D Mark II only has nine autofocus points, even though you can trust all nine of those pretty well. So you'll probably have to focus and recompose a decent amount with that one as well. When it comes to video, there's not a lot to say here for either one, honestly. Both can do decent 1080 at 24 or 30 frames per second. Neither one of them have continuous autofocus in video. So both of them are gonna be fine for doing like static, locked off, talking headshots or something where you can just lock in the focus and leave it there. Or obviously, if you have someone dedicated to pulling manual focus. The 6D does have a slightly newer menu system and that makes video a little bit easier to learn and get set up on that camera. Both of these cameras have mic input so you can use an external mic with both of them but neither has a headphone jack so you can't monitor that audio. And I really wouldn't recommend either of these cameras specifically for video just because they're not really competitive with a lot of the more modern camera options that are out there. So which one's right for you? And both of these cameras are capable of taking great photos. I would not recommend either camera for video. With the 6D, it does definitely have an advantage in low light. However, because of the less than stellar performance of all but the center autofocusing point, I wouldn't really recommend it for something like shooting events. Although I have shot events with the 6D and I was able to get good images, but it does make it difficult for composing shots. If you are shooting with a lot of of available light either outdoors or in the studio with your own studio lighting, I would recommend the 5D Mark II because it does have better autofocus, negligibly better resolution, but you can typically find it for anywhere from $100 to $200 cheaper than the 6D. I do think that they are both great options for still life or anything slow moving like portraits. I think they are both not gonna be good options for anything fast action, wildlife, something like that. And both of them do only have one card slot, either SD or CF. So that's not something that wedding shooters will typically want to see or even event shooters a lot of times. 
but I do think that they are both great options for the price point. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below, are you looking at either of these cameras? Have you shot with either of these cameras before? What do you think about them? If you are thinking of purchasing these cameras or any of the gear that I've talked about in this video, in the description below, I will have affiliate links. If you purchase through these links at no extra cost to you, it'll help to support the channel so that I can continue making videos for you guys. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications every time I post a new video to this channel. Thanks and see ya.